Hi everyone, in this video clip 11.1, I'll be going through a new chapter that is on differential equation. In this particular video clip, I'll be introducing to you simple differential equation. But what is actually a differential equation? A differential equation is basically an equation that involves dy dx or d2y dx square or this kind of forms or d3y dx cubed and so on and so forth. Okay, and so suppose an example of a differential equation could be like say dy dx equals to 2xy squared. This is a differential equation because it involves dy dx. Now the order of a differential equation Okay. Order of a differential equation is basically the order of the highest derivative which it contains. Like in this example, the order of the differential equation will be 1. Another example could be a d3y dx cubed plus 3y dy dx equals to 4x plus 1. Now in this example, the order of this differential equation will be 3. Okay. Then what is the degree of the differential equation? The degree of the differential equation is the power of the highest derivative which occurs in it. That means, for example, if you have d3y dx cubed squared plus 3 dy dx cubed equals to 4x plus 5. In this case, the order of this differential equation will be 3 and the degree will be 2 because it's the degree of the highest degree term. Okay, the degree of the highest derivative term. Now a solution to this uh, differential equation is what we are looking out for in this whole chapter. Okay? So there are a couple of ways in which we can solve differential equation. In this particular video clip, I'll be introducing to you this solving by direct integration first. So for example, if you have dy dx <coughs> equals to fx and then d2y dx squared equals to fx, we can solve this differential equation using direct integration. A quick example, for example, dy dx equals to 2x squared plus 3. You can solve this differential equation by integrating it. And that will be the solution to the differential equation. Another example, if you have d2y dx squared equals to e2x plus 3. If you are to integrate once, you get dy dx equals to half e2x plus 3x plus c1 and you integrate one more time you get y is 1 quarter e2x plus 3 over 2 x squared plus c1x plus c2 so this will then be the solution to this differential equation okay that is one method the other method is to use the method of separable variables separable variables in the case of separable variables, we have this kind of situation. Uh, you have dy dx equals to a function of y. And of course, we also have this kind of situation where we have dy dx equals to a product of a function of x and a function of y. Okay? In this kind of problem, we will have to actually solve using variable separable. Let me show you an example as what is given on the handout. And the handout it says that we are interested in solving this differential equation. Okay. And then the way to go about doing it is bring this 3y to the right hand side and take out a common factor. And if you divide 4 by y, 1 over y, dy dx equals to 4x squared plus 3. Okay. Then you integrate both sides with respect to x. Okay. 
Okay, we have this. And how do you integrate 1 over y? That will be ln of modulus y. And how do you integrate 4x squared? It's 4x cubed over 3 plus 3x plus c1. Then you take exponential on both sides. It will be e to the power of 4 over 3 x cubed plus 3x plus c1. Then you remove the mod, the plus minus e to the power of c1, e to the power of 4 over 3, x cubed plus 3x. And finally, I can call this one a new constant, and we can call it a. e to the power of 4 over 3, x cubed plus 3x. Okay, and of course your a here is what we call an arbitrary constant. Okay. So this will then for be the solution to this differential equation. Okay? I hope this example will give you a rough idea about how this kind of problem is being done. Okay? And then in the next video clip on 11.2, we'll be going through another technique towards solving of this kind of differential equation. Thank you.